Good evening, people of the internet. This is a workout video. Uh, this is the workout for an entire week. Uh, so you will see three separate days, essentially. And here I am just setting up with the bands. This is the first time that I have used them. And I'm doing some back exercises. Let's, uh, let's see how we do. Oh, yeah. Excellent form. Little lackluster. Nope. Nope, gotta scoot a little farther. Okay, okay, let's see, let's see. There, oh yeah, 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 kinda getting there, kinda getting there. And, uh, yep, going down. Get that big, nice, long stretch. Oh, yeah, there. okay, I'm not gonna do this the whole time. I'm, I'm just gonna speed it up for you. Now, as I'm doing this, I am doing eight reps, and I believe three or four sets of eight reps. I'm doing them very slow because I have back injuries, and doing it slow like this really stretches the muscles in my back that I'm trying to target. And even after doing this on a very light-weighted band, my back was very sore for a couple days. So here, I'm trying to figure the band out and then get the exercise figured out. I'm doing, again, very slow repetitions as you'll see here. This is the actual speed of which I'm doing. I'm holding at the stretched position to really make sure my shoulders and everything are working. And slowly come in on the eccentric. And it just kills me. <laughs> and here's the other set. I have to take breaks every now and then just because of how much strain this puts on my back. Man, my back's so weak. My shoulders are so weak. <sighs> Just terrible. Now, that was as much of that exercise as I could honestly muster. My back right in between my shoulder blades was starting to hurt. So I moved on to a different exercise. Uh, just some standard pull downs, very lightweight again, just because of my injuries. Now, you see there, I did some interesting movements with my shoulders and elbow positioning. I saw something online about shoulder impingement, and I was just trying to avoid that but uh, I don't really know if that does anything or not so I don't know if I'll continue to do that oh. And here I'm doing some, uh, I don't know what they're called. I'm going to call them push downs. <laughs> now, these I was able to do a medium band, and it still wasn't too much resistance, so this wasn't too difficult for me, but my back was pretty tired, so I could only do three sets. Now we are moving on to uh, Wednesday, the second day of workouts, uh, a day of break in between, and I'm warming my knees up because I'm going to be doing some squats. Oh, This is just one of those days where my body was not cooperating, so I could really only do oh. some of the squats, but I at least gave what I could. Oh. Oh. oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh my knees. <laughs> Okay, another one. Oh, okay, that's all I can do for those. Oh. In case you're curious, at the time of recording this, I'm 355 pounds, and I'm holding for two seconds, roughly, oh. at the bottom of each squat. And here I am doing more of a half squat, just because my body was just not very happy, so 
I just had to do what I could. And now it is Friday. This is the third day of exercise. Usually I reserve this day for chest, uh, sometimes abs and biceps. Uh, it had snowed a few days ago and I just needed to clear the deck. So I did a little bit of shoveling and a little bit of electric shoveling and it pretty well did me in. Here the wind was blowing back at me, so what I eventually did is I bored my way down and then I kicked it off to the side so it wouldn't hit me in the face. <laughs> So this is the same day. Uh, I'm pretty tired so I didn't do a whole lot, but I'm warming out my biceps just a little bit. One set of standard bicep curls and one set of a hammer bicep curls. And at 5 pounds, I then add the weight for 10 pounds and I do a little bit of isometric um, hold. And I do an isometric hold that elongates with each rep. So one rep is one second, five reps is five seconds. And I do this because of the muscles in my back. Holding stuff out in front of me gets difficult sometimes. So as a part of my bicep workout, I incorporated this. It gives you a total of 55 seconds of hold time and although there's not extensive research on isometrics I can definitely say from my experience that it has helped doing everyday normal things. Here I do more of a standard repetition at 20 pounds, 5 repetitions for hammer and standard bicep. And I've moved on to three repetitions. This is real time. Uh, this is 30 pounds. I'm pretty sore, so I didn't do five reps this time. So this is standard bicep, and then I will be doing hammer curl.
Well, this is pretty much it. Uh, this was one week of workouts. Um, I hope to be doing another one of these videos, um, possibly some updates here and there on progress and what have you. Uh, there is no audio because the TV was blaring, so you wouldn't be able to hear anything anyways. And uh, I appreciate you watching, and hope you have a good day. Thank you. I don't know why I said thank you, but um, uh, I'm just going to leave that in. Um, pretty tired. I don't want to do any more takes. So, um, bye.